staying in Victoria now. Premier Dan Andrews did something this morning that no other Premier in the country has done. He dropped a bombshell policy. We'd heard about it previous, but this morning he confirmed a levy, a 7.5% tax on short-term rentals. You want to Airbnb your house out? Too bad, says Dan Andrews. I want a cut of that pie. This is really interesting on the back of recent research done by Oxford Research, which showed that Airbnb contributed almost $4 billion to Victoria's GDP last year. So here's the government going, hang on a minute, we want a piece of this cash cow. We want to cut into what mum and dads are making of renting out a room or renting out a second property for holiday goers. We want that. It's not going straight into their pocket. This is particularly saddening when then you look at Airbnb's own research, which shows that 84% of people who have an Airbnb in Victoria only have the one property that they're letting out or the one room, and 40% of those use it to be able to stay in their own homes, to simply earn a bit of cash on the side so they can prop up their own rental or their own mortgage. But never fear, here's Premier Dan Andrews today trying to justify this move, saying it, it's no big deal. How can you say it's a modest charge when it's the highest short state tax in the world? Other jurisdictions well, it's a have modest charge. To put it at two, three, five percent. No, well, seven. This is the highest in the world. Well, seven dollars fifty per hundred dollars is a modest charge. It's, it's not modest. It's a modest charge, and I'll say it a hundred times if you want. We may not agree on that, but it's a modest, modest it, charge. Is it, the highest <laughs> short stay tax in the world, and there he is eyeballing us saying, oh, it's a modest charge. I'll say it a thousand times if you want me to. This is a man with every bit of gumption we wish he didn't have. But here's Albanese yesterday. It was a time when they were announcing this suite of housing measures they've taken. Here he is explaining why he thinks this move is important. The issue of Airbnb is an issue. Uh, in my electorate, it's an issue uh, because uh, you have problems of accessing uh, rentals uh, for uh, people uh, because of uh, a, a lack of accessibility. Wait a minute. So you haven't done your due diligence creating enough rentals to supply demand. So now you're demanding that we do what you say we have to do with our own properties to ensure the people that you didn't house properly are housed in a manner in which you... What, <laughs> Whenever oh, government makes another policy that means I don't get to do with my own property whatever the heck I darn well want to, it makes me see red. Here is more t red tape, more bureaucracy. Oh, you want to Airbnb it? We're taking a cut of that. We're making life more difficult because we want to twist your arm. We want it on the rental market, not the Airbnb market. It maddens me. I, I think you're going a little hard on Albanese there because he's done a lot to uh, open up rental properties. He owns five of them. He's, <laughs> done, he's done his bit <laughs> to improve the rental market. But I, I love Albanese saying, well, you know, it's an issue because it's an issue and you need a tissue for your issue, Mr <laughs> Albanese. Oh, of course it's a bloody issue, but the issue, the real issue, is we don't have enough houses in this country. I mean, it wouldn't be a problem. Holiday homes have existed forever and a day. The only difference now, people used to go away every Christmas. You go, go down to some beachside town mm. and if you wanted to go to a holiday home you had to look it up in the yellow pages or something and then of course the internet came along and you'd find a website listing for it. The only difference here is that someone came up with a website that aggregated all of these properties. They were just simply put into one place so you could find them much more easily. And sure, it might have encouraged more people to list their properties, but these people have got to stay somewhere, yeah. and particularly in Melbourne, right? I mean, the, the F1 down there, which should never have been taken away from Adelaide, by the way, the best <laughs> street circuit in the world, but the F1 in Melbourne is one of the biggest sporting events in the country. Mm. They get hundreds of thousands of people there. I lived in South Melbourne, just down the road, 
road from Albert Park when it was running. The place was awash with people. You can't get a hotel room, so where are you going to stay? Oh, well, you can't stay in an Airbnb. They'll all be off the market. You've got to sleep on the street or something. Well, I mean, the other issue here is you can't keep voting for Dan Andrews and think you're not going to pay. I mean, Liz, <laughs> you right. talked about they want a piece of that pie. Tell me a pie in Victoria that Dan Andrews doesn't want to get his hands upon because he's spent all their money. They've got nothing left in the bank, so he's looking to tax every single thing. I, I love Dan Andrews saying, I'll say it a hundred times, because this is the, the progressive left now, isn't it? They believe that if they just say things often <laughs> enough, they actually become true. They really do believe well, that. It's, it's the arrogance of a man like Andrews, but the one pie he doesn't want is apple pie. He doesn't need sweetness. <laughs> he can be as bullish as he likes to Victorian people, and they eat it up. They love it. Stockholm Syndrome. I, I can't get over it.